Hello guys and welcome to my channel Modish Faye here and I'm going to be showing you guys my minimalist winter wardrobe. If you're not already subscribed go ahead and do so now so you don't miss any more of my videos. My winter minimalist wardrobe is very cottage core inspired so I'm excited to show you guys what I've got. My winter wardrobe is obviously more minimalistic because I really don't go out that much in the winter. However in the summer my wardrobe consists of many different aesthetics and for different occasions I just am more active in the summer. So with this wardrobe I'm going to show you guys all of the pieces where I got them from and then I'm going to put together some outfits for you guys so you guys can see how I styled all of these pieces together. So let's start with the base layers. I got three different base layers from two different companies. So the first two base layers that I got, one was in gray, one was in a cream, and these are from Marina wool base layers and I really like the company. I got these in an extra small. I was kind of using these for a monochromatic look, something to look a little chic. My color scheme for this was green, cream, gray, these layers kept me very warm. The only thing I wasn't too crazy about was the fit of them. But other than that, they really serve their purpose. And if you are looking for some base layers, definitely get these. I was kind of wearing these as just like the main layer. It doesn't get too cold where I live. So these were kind of perfect for the day-to-day -day outings and even the chillier nights. These kind of worked for me just because it's not as cold here. I also got another base layer set in green. I kind of felt like it fit more like a legging than a base layer, and that's kind of what I was looking for. If I had purchased these first, I would have gotten more colors in these from that company. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my coat. I only have one coat for this wardrobe, and that's just because once I bought the coat, I kind of fell in love with it, and I felt like it went really well with all of the pieces within my wardrobe, so I didn't look for anything else. Of course, it's not waterproof, but it's made of wool and linen, and I got it from Knock Knock Linen, which is an Etsy shop, and I was able to customize it to fit my body because I am petite, and trying to find a coat like this in my size is nearly impossible. This item is another item from Knock Knock Lennon. It is also made out of wool and linen, and I believe this is the Victoria dress. I, again, got it custom made to my sizes, and I absolutely love how this fits. It's a drop waist dress. I did think it looked kind of weird on me when I first put it on, but once I accessorize it with all of my stuff, I really like how this looks, and I think it's very old-timey and cottagecore inspired. Both of these pieces were pretty pricey, and I'll link the shop below as long as everything else that I show you guys but I definitely think it's a nice piece to invest in. So the only other dress I included within this wardrobe I'm actually wearing right now and it's just this little overall dress from Lucy and Yak which of course all of these brands are sustainable and ethical. It's a corduroy dress. I also wear this dress with my fall wardrobe and it's just really cute and it's really nice to break up the monochromatic look with my base layers. Moving on, I only have one sweater and it's from Modern Citizen. I absolutely love this sweater. I actually had it for about a year or two. I bought this sweater before I started making this wardrobe. It's a really nice sweater to dress up a look. I kind of call it my fancy sweater. This is something that I'd wear to like a family outing or a really nice restaurant or something like that. I don't really have too many fancy clothes within this wardrobe just because in the winter time I'm really not doing fancy things. But I did want to have one really nice piece that I could put within my wardrobe and dress up or down as I needed to. So now we're going to move on to the accessory part of my winter wardrobe. My accessories are a lot and that is because I do have a lot of monochromatic base layers and I wanted to be able to dress them up or down with my accessories. So I got this wool hat custom made on Etsy from Margaret Crafts. I really love this hat and the craftsmanship on it is just beautiful. I love the little bird. I think it's very cottage core. So the next thing I got was a neck gaiter and it is made out of wool. It's from Marinia Wool, the same as my other two base layers. I really love this and I think it goes very well with my hat. My first set of gloves are made out of wool. They're from Marina Wool as well. So these are kind of just like a base layer of gloves, if you will. And they also have a touchscreen little pads on the fingertips. Um, they didn't really work that well, but it is kind of a nice feature. And sometimes they work if you press hard enough. But I really like the color of these. And it's nice to have a lighter layer of gloves. So the other gloves I got to put on top of those base layer gloves are by United Blue. And I believe they are made out of wool as well. 
So these three socks I got from Call Me The Breeze. I'm not sure if the brand itself is sustainable, but they carry sustainable brands. And so I wanted to try out the brand itself and I purchased these socks. They're super warm and the colors go perfectly with my wardrobe. These two knee high socks are made out of wool and I got these from Depop. I will try to list the seller below, but I really love these. It makes my outfits a little more casual, a little more cozy, and they also keep me very warm for those chillier days and nights. I don't have that many shoes, so when I do buy new shoes, it tends to be on the cheaper side and from non-sustainable or ethical brands, but they do get used to death. So these shoes are from J. Foley, and I really love the brand itself. They have a lot of really pretty dresses. I really love these shoes. They're very sturdy, and I think I've had them for about a year or two, and they've held up amazing. And I probably will purchase shoes from them again, especially more of these boots, because I just absolutely love them and they tend to have unique colorways that come out every season or so. The next shoes I'm going to show you were actually a gift from my mother, and these are the Minnetonkas. These are for more casual looks, and my Joey Foley's are for more dressed up, kind of, you know, chic kind of looks, and these are just more casual and comfy, and I'm glad I'm finally wearing them because they were sitting in my closet for such a long time, and I almost got rid of them. I use these for more than just my winter wardrobe. I would also use these for, like, festivals. It's just Rona, and we don't have any festivals so right now they're just kind of nestled within my winter wardrobe so that is pretty much it for my items in my wardrobe I'm going to show you guys a lookbook of all the different outfits and how I styled everything small number and it's nice to know that I could get through the winter with this and I did love my wardrobe for the most part. I definitely think I would add more pieces but I'm not gonna just go run and start buying stuff. I'm really going to stop, consider my wardrobe, what I want to add, what's necessary to add, the cheapest way to add it into my wardrobe. So I'm going to be doing a lot of research and stuff from here to next winter before I add new pieces within my wardrobe. So I am getting, you know, again, small numbers of stuff. I don't want to have a huge winter wardrobe. I really like having this small capsule wardrobe and I wish I could do something like this with my main wardrobe. Not that I have a crazy amount of clothing, but I really wish I could kind of compact it more into something this small, but I just have too many aesthetics that I like to try out within my summer seasons. <laughs> And that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below on what your favorite outfit is. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And until next time, bye.